Давай, давай, мы Рида забираем потихоньку сюда, потихоньку. Место вот там, терпись. Рюкзаки можно убрать. Господин Аким сюда поближе, помощник поближе. И вот теперь сейчас. Уважаемые космонавты. Dear cosmonauts, we are happy to greet you on our soil. Space flights uh, have been taking place here since 1964. It's been over half a century. Linked to the names of cosmonauts, uh, the heroes of the Soviet Union. We've got uh, lots of streets named after them. And of course, uh, everybody here is sending you their best wishes, wishing you health, uh, luck, success. So we'd like to present with the Chabans, according to the Kazakh tradition. А девушки, которые принесли, тоже принадлежат. Мужики so, dear colleagues, I'd like to wish you good luck, health, and uh, that you continue this uh, noble undertaking. On our behalf, I'd like to thank you for the work done as well. All the best. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And uh, I've talked to many crew members. I've never heard anybody complain or mention that anything had ever gone wrong here. <laughs> so good luck and prosperity. <laughs> Can you say a few words about your impressions here on the ground after such a long duration space flight? How are you feeling? Are you feeling all right? Yes, we are feeling great. Alex is uh, getting thoughtful. Yeah, smiling, all of you. Everything is fine. We're feeling just uh, exactly as uh, somebody who's been in space for half a year should be feeling. There are certain things, but overall it's okay. Can you say a few words about the work accomplished in space, about the experiments you did there? Well, I don't want to get into much detail. There have been over 50 experiments uh, on the Russian segment, only on the Russian segment. I can say that a significant scientific work was accomplished uh, uh, for the Europeans and on the US segment. And what's interesting is that our Japanese colleagues uh, didn't leave us. And uh, I know that uh, we've uh, brought five, uh, six, four, five, five fishes. <laughs> One of them got it right after landing, so we've got only four left. <laughs> That's a joke. But it's a joke, yes. It was a joke. Other than that, I read uh, completed two spacewalks, Alex one spacewalk, I also did one spacewalk. So all of our crew members have been outside, breathed uh, a breath of fresh air. We've got uh, some vehicles, uh, two cargo vehicles uh, dock into the Russian segment. In addition, the guys had one Cygnus, one Dragon, two cargo vehicles, and uh, the European ATV is still docked to the station. So the program of our space flight was uh, very intense, and we've been, we were busy, but we still found some time for fun. Do you celebrate any holidays in space? How do you relax in there? <laughs> There's not really much time for relaxation, because uh, we're doing work there seven days a week. Even though they say that we have a day off, say, on Sunday, but still there are lots of things that need to be done that we want to do. So this is it. So you like all types of work that you are to do there. Yes. Valer Garovich, you got it right. Not on the head.
So obviously it was a little warmer last time you saw Kazakhstan, so a bit of a shock getting out. Uh, how, how was the ride back down? How'd it go? The ride's awesome. I mean, that was amazing. It was, uh, I was pretty nervous going into it, for sure. Um, but once, it's like anything that I've done here. Once you get going, once you're in the capsule, once you start heading down, it's just awesome. It was a fun time. A lot of uh, dynamic events. Got to turn into a fireball for a little while. And then, uh, you know, really that whole part was great. We Our Gs were a little higher than we expected. Um, so we were getting pressed down pretty good. And then uh, I already knew all the parachute stuff was going to be crazy. So mm -hmm. that was already kind of expected. But then after we landed, we were upright for a couple seconds. Yeah, maybe even a minute. Yeah. And then uh, and then the wind carrying our parachute tipped us over. But that was actually the most dynamic event of the whole wow. thing. And then we got dragged for a little bit. And then uh, finally we got the parachute risers off. And uh, and they came and rescued us. So it was all very quick. I mean, I couldn't believe how fast the folks were here. Especially with the weather the way it is. It's great. Well, bit of bit of a roller coaster ride. So uh, so while you were on orbit, you know, it was crazy busy. October had to be one of the busiest months in the history of the International Space Agency. And you guys, you know, you were slammed to the wall in science. What, what was it like up there for your six months? Yeah, I mean, well, it was, it, it, it took all the extremes. At first, I think they gave us a lot of time. Me and Alex are two rookies. So they gave us a lot of time to get adjusted. And then uh, once we kind of hit the end of June into July, we were working really hard. We were doing a lot of science. It was really a lot of science right in there mm -hmm. in that, like, July, August time frame. And then once uh, September hit, we started moving over towards the EVAs, and we knocked out two EVAs and worked in transport uh, vehicles. We had uh, Cygnus leave, Dragon come, we had ATV come, Dragon leave, and Dragon is just a, it's an immense amount of work. Yeah. I had no, I was not prepared for the amount of work that Dragon is. <laughs> I mean, it's just nonstop from the time the thing docked until it undocked. We were working science, cargo, everything. So uh, really, I mean, it, we ended with a bang. October was just insane. I mean, we, we didn't really even have a weekend in that whole month. We were just working. So uh, it was okay, though. It was great. You know, we, we saved up some reserves because we knew it was going to be tough and it was good. What, what you signed up for, right? Oh, you you want to get up there and get bored. How could you have done more in one mission? I mean, we did it all. It was great. So you mentioned you and Alex were rookies. It really looked like you guys, you know, you're always a tight-knit group up there, but you guys really bonded, whether it was, you know, no, watching World Cup. Other, you hate each other. I yeah. can tell. It's, there's this big distance. All right, Alex, get out. But I mean, I mean what, how great was it to have, like, these guys you could really, you know, bond with from all over the globe for to be in your crew on board? Uh, you know, I've told Max several times and Alex, um, I'm so lucky to be in this program, just be the people that I've met around the world. I mean, here, I know Max and his kids and his wife uh, so well. I've spent mm -hmm. so much time with them the last two years, and Alex and his spouse spent so much time with them, too. And, uh, you know, my kids know Max's kids, and, and it's just so neat to have friends like that and Russian friends in Germany, and then to work, get to work in Japan. Uh, it's really been unbelievable. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. And you were fantastic at bringing the whole world along for your ride. You, <laughs> you really were. You, were. you were great, though. You know, luck is preparation, and, you know, so you were fantastic at that. What, Thank you. What, what really kind of pushed you to do that? You know, why... What was the what was the driving force? You know, I have absolutely no idea because I, I two two and a half years ago I really didn't even know what Twitter was, but I just figured uh, I'm, I'm one of the I've said this a couple times, but I'm one of the first rookies to do a mm -hmm. long duration space flight, yep. and I really wanted to share that. What is what is it like to be up there? What is it like to be weightless and to look down at the earth and all that? And what is it like to fly with a Russian command? Or, <laughs> you know, and so I just wanted to tell that story from my point of view, and that's all I wanted to do. I think it was successful. Any crazy favorite memories with you and all Max and the guys? All, all of them. them. <laughs> Starting in Winter Survival in Star City. That was a great. That was a great start for our crew. All right. And you well, know what? Uh, I want to. I want to. I want to talk a couple words. Yep. Because I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. I'm going on an aircraft. Excellent. See you soon, buddy. See you, buddy. See you, buddy. All right. All right. Well, Reed, welcome back. Thanks, Thanks again, Dan. man. Really yep. appreciate it. Great job. Yeah. Thanks. I can't stay